Uganda's automotive industry is reshaping public transport and promoting sustainability. Kira Motors Corporation, a state enterprise, is leading the way with its innovative electric buses. Over 39 are now in use on the streets of Kampala. VOS Paul Ndiho recently received an exclusive guided tour of the Kira Motors facility in Jinja, where CEO Paul Isaac Musasizi shared his visionary plans for the company's future. Voice of America was given an exclusive access to Chira Motors Corporation. What a remarkable sight of how Ugandans are determined to put buses on the road. The last time I was here, this was just a concept vehicle. But now they have over 39 buses locally made here in Uganda by Ugandans. My name is Paul Isaac Sassizi. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Kira Motors Corporation. Uh, a state enterprise fully owned by the government of the Republic of Uganda that has set up the Kira Vehicle Plant. And the Kira Vehicle Plant is the biggest, most capable, and most competent bus manufacturing plant on the African continent. How many are you able to make a day or in a month? Yeah, so uh, because it's a line, it's a process. The journey from the machine shop to pre-delivery inspections for 10 days. So what we watch is at the end, what comes out a day. So with the current tooling, we are capable of uh, releasing 11 buses, as the installed capacity today, 11 buses a day. Yes, we have the body shop, that is for frame and body factory, the paint shop, which is for protection and decoration, the chassis line, that is where the core assembly operation starts with this tax sourced from international value chains. Mm. Then we go to the trim and fine assembly. Uh, so just line, of course, steering system, brake system, drive axle so suspension, and also some of the powertrain components and the first line of electrical. And it's quite thin there, the on tires. Then we go to trim and fine assembly to do the upholstery and all the exterior and interior trim components, like the wipers, the lights, and all those applications, the floorboards. Then we go to the quality inspection and testing, and then we are ready for pre-delivery inspection. Ten years ago, this was just uh, a dream. They had a concept uh, uh, bus called Kayola. I was privileged to visit uh, the center at the time. They were in a small garage. Today, they are in one of the largest bus manufacturing plants that I've ever visited. This is an incredible example of what determined Ugandans can do. They set out on a mission to build the most durable electric buses on the African continent. And as we speak today, they have buses on the roads in the Ugandan capital of Kampala. And a tour on one of these branded buses made by Ugandans. This is the 55 passenger yeah, city bus, fully electric. Wow, what a smooth ride. <laughs> You need energy infrastructure to power the electric buses. So this charger here is used to charge the buses. On an electric vehicle, if you're going to go very fast all the time, you won't go fast. So you need to know what your goals are. Okay? In order for you to go far, you need to drive at a particular optimum speed that will get you the nominal range. If you rev the vehicle quite up and you go very fast, certainly you will be drawing quite a lot of current continuously, and this will compromise your nominal range. Yeah. What does this say about Uganda's readiness to compete globally? Manufacturing is critical. And now when we set up the biggest, most capable, most competent bus manufacturing plant with the tech, you see, industry for plastic being deployed here for productivity, for precision tooling to produce world-class products. What we are saying is that uh, we are ready to play uh, in the whole industrialization and innovation space. It's very strategic for Uganda of course, with the leadership of His Excellency, the President, to, to enable something like this to be in place so that we provide a platform that can draw all these industrial value chains to enable more value addition in the country. That's where you create opportunity, that's where you increase your giving. When I first uh, talked to you uh, many years ago, this was just a dream. <laughs> there we are standing right here. It was a dream on paper, yes. Yeah. This yeah. is 
close to a dream come true. Yeah. Has your dream come true? We, we have made finite steps. We have clear milestones. The plant is in place, but the dream is a moving target. The dream continues to become more apparent as more things get on ground. And yes, have we realized a significant part of the dream? Yes, we, we are privileged to somebody to see that we are here today. This is just the beginning.